What's going on, everybody? And today I'm bringing you some news and updates about some, you know, a certain article that I read a while ago. And this one's about, you know, a fan favorite called Borderlands. And now in E3, they showed the new game coming up. They showed a demo of Borderlands 2. And now there's, you know, there maybe there's been rumors going on that Borderlands 2 might be heading to the PS Vita soon. Who knows? But uh, there's an uh, an article that which I'm gonna link you guys down in the description below that Gearbox's software's Randy Pitchford t um, said he said he told an audience that he wants a PS Vita version of Borderlands 2, and that Randy also said he wants to be able to work on his character. He wants to, you know, be able to work on his character on his PS3 and take his um, character on the go. You know, via the cloud. You know, on this on his PS Vita via the cloud, because it might exist somewhere in the cloud. And he said, technologically, it might be possible. You know, that's possible. And not only that, with the recent purchase of Gakai, Gakai, by Sony, you know, cloud gaming, it might become true. You know, a bunch of these PS3 games, you know, cross play like. It might be coming true, you know, you play it on the PS3 and it will upload the data to um, Sony's new cloud gaming service and then just turn on the PSP, PSP, PS Vita, you know, you bought the game on the Vita and you could um, keep, you know, continue working on your character right there and it'll be pretty cool. Now, the the thing is though, uh, Pitchford, uh, Randy Pitchford also said that they, they, themselves cannot do it because you know they're busy working on the console and the pc and they have their hands full but you know he said that he would love uh, you know some developers some really good talented developers to take their code their sources and their content to to create it on the ps vita you know he would love that to for that to happen and that would be pretty cool you know it'll be like the first sps fps you know, shooter to crossplay and everything, you know, work on this character on the PS3, and then you take it on the go on the PS Vita. So when you come back home, it'll be all ready, you know, log in, put the game in, it'll be all set. Now, there's a lot of people, you know, if this come, this game comes true, Borderlands 2 comes to the PS Vita, they will buy it on the first day with the PS Vita, you know. A lot of people are excited for this, you know, that would be pretty cool, you know, a game such as Borderlands 2 coming to the PS Vita. That would be cool. Now, I know you guys might be thinking like, yes, hopefully it will come true. You know, the PS Vita needs games, you know, you know. Well, that's a good point. The PS Vita does have games, but not a lot. But, you know, some of these games take time for, you know, to develop. And, you know, it doesn't take a week or two. It takes months in advance and everything. And so we might see a jump of, you know, games, PS Vita games and during the holiday season coming in the, at the end of this year or something. So anyways, that's it. You know, would you like the Borderlands 2 on the PS Vita? Would you buy the PS Vita because of Borderlands 2? I don't know. I might buy Borderlands 2 on the day it comes out. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.